topic is something we posted on our Facebook page, and it was just so juicy, we had to bring it to the girl chat table. Yes. A recent article in Madame Noir discussed what seems like the ultimate lose-lose situation when people without children try giving parenting advice. Oh. All right, now the writer, a single father, made the point that something changes once you become a parent and that until that change happens, there is nothing a single person can critique. Tamar, you're a mother. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you just said you had baby fever again. Yes! Now, I've got to know your opinion on this. How do you feel about people without kids giving parenting tips? I don't feel, uh, I don't feel nothing at all because I don't need your advice if you ain't got no children. At yes. all. Like, okay, if you were an older person and you, you, you were known as auntie to all the kids, that's mm -hmm. a different situation. Yeah. But if you ain't got no chicken or child and you out here in these streets, child, and you don't know nothing about no kids, sh shush. Yeah. Okay? How about I that? I agree. No, yeah. I agree. You know what? I think, I think that you, because I'm a person that doesn't have children, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. I parent the way the... You know, I treat the child the way the parents wants me to you treat the child. You mimic their style. Yeah. Exactly. So if you don't, you know, if you want me to treat your child a certain way, then I listen to you and then I, do, you know, I go by that. Yeah. But I don't try to tell you what to do because that's your child. Right. That's yes. it. Yeah. You know? Oh, that's me. And you're a great yeah. auntie. Yeah, you give good advice. You, you give great advice. You are. Yeah, you are. But what I love about these kids, girl. Jack yes. loves you. I love Jet Obsessed too. But yeah. I don't know about you, Tay Tay, but when you put a picture of Logan on your Instagram, do you get unsolicited? Parental advice from people that you don't even know. Yeah, and, com and, and, commenting and that on your comes page. with the automatic block. I know. <laughs> I don't have time for that. <laughs> there was. So you ready for this? How about dang? You ain't never with your baby. Well, how do you know where I'm at? Yeah. Exactly. You yeah. don't know that Vince and Logan are shadows. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, exactly. what you talking about? Exactly. Yeah. I can remember I posted um, a video of Araya dancing to Rihanna's work song. Right? I got so many compliments. Well, not really compliments. I got so many. Look, see, you see how cute, right? She know right, what right. your records are. You like to dance, don't you? She yeah, likes yeah. to dance. She likes music. And when I posted that uh, online, I got comments saying, "How dare you let your daughter listen to Rihanna?" I'm like, "What?" what? All the girl is saying over and over again in that particular uh, uh, video was work, 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 work. Well, you know, Tam, the Bible says... Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> teach a child in the way that it should go. Yes. And, you know, and these days it's going along with the twerking method, so you're doing the right thing. You know? no, I just feel just like... That. Yes. She's not even, she's nine months old. She doesn't even understand what the song is saying. Well, and that's what, and that's what I was saying. I was like, okay, once Araya really, you know, understands what words are, and if I'm playing song to song, 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 while she's doing yeah. arts and crafts, that's then that's something different. Yeah, yeah. But she's just having fun. She likes music. Mommy the was beat, listening to it. Yes. Yeah. She likes the rhythm. Yeah. She's twerking yeah, on the I never feel it. like it's right to give advice if, for something that you, you have no experience in, but I do love listening listening to people's experiences and how they grew up, like how your parents disciplined you. Like, in my family, I only know two ways of discipline. It was like either getting sat down for a talking to or a can of whoop ass. Yeah. And so oh, I never, I like listening to how other people's kids were disciplined because especially now when Freddie has nieces and nephews and we watch as sometimes things get out of hand and the parents aren't doing the right thing. I like listening to how other parents are disciplining their kids now because that's almost like the most important foundational thing in order to keep your kid in line. True. And I think, though, the difference is, though, is that people have a certain way on how they discipline their kids according to their rules and their family. You right. have to do what's right for you and your family. Exactly. And the people that give unsolicited advice, they know nothing about me Not and nothing. my family. So they have no right to give me, you know, But what about that when advice. people say um, to you, like, okay, um, well, I raised so many kids, so you should do what I do because I raised, you know, kids. Well, my line that I always say is, I didn't ask for your <laughs> advice. Right. If I want your advice, I, I will reach out and I will ask. And I have an amazing mother, yep. and that's the person that I will, I will call Question. and ask. What? Yes. I completely agree. I think the only time that you can offer advice to somebody as a person that doesn't have kids like myself, to someone that does, is if you're super duper close with them. Yes. Yeah. Like you have to be, you can't be a stranger walking up on somebody, like that does not work. Like my sister, I don't have kids, but if my sister and I are talking, I'm like, oh Claude, you should try this or try, my sister, 
is not going to be like, you can't tell me what to do, AJ. You don't have yeah, kids. Yeah, but she's thinking that, friend. No. I just want you to know that. No, but, but like, for instance. Trust me. Wait, Trust like me. Like, when Jet was crying that one time and she was laying on the floor, and I decided to lie down with her and cry, too. And I told you guys, I was like, I don't know why. It just seemed like a funny thing to do, but it actually worked. And when we had Dr. Drew on the show, he said... That's actually a great method. It's called mirroring or something. Mm-hmm. I, don't know, I don't know if y'all saw that episode. I can't wait till you have kids. You start mirroring you, your kids crying on the floor. I can't wait to see <laughs> that. You have a tantrum? I ain't doing that, throw myself you doing on the that? floor, You finna too. mirror your kids having a tantrum on the floor? I ain't finna do that. I did it. I did it once did with it Aiden. Work? I have to say, it, 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 it did work. Told it did you? work uh, for that one particular time. But what's crazy about kids is... Sometimes it works one Sometimes day, and then the other day, it's completely different. Yeah. yeah. But the again, it has know. to be someone you're super close to that you can say something to, and if they don't like it, they can also say back to you, shut up. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. So All that. right.